Hey guys, what's up? So this is just a check-in uh, episode of Calvin's Journey slash the All In uh, series. So I just want to go over some things with Calvin, kind of should tell you guys where he's at or where we're at, update, what's going on, that sort of thing. Yeah, how's it going? I'm a mess. <laughs> uh, food, workouts, um, progress. Start with food. Food. Um, it, I'm still having trouble sometimes uh, making the macros or the, the, the calories. Um, I'm still under, so I'm not like going over, and I'm not eating junk food. Um, it's just uh, still having trouble planning ahead. But I've also had some like life changes in the past couple weeks, so that's kind of throwing me through some loops. Are you still tracking your food? Um, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> so no, he's not tracking his food. He hasn't sent me a journal and who knows when. I linked it to the app, so I thought you were doing it now. No, you have to send it to me. Oh, well, you should have said something. I did. In my directions that I sent you, uh, in our starter package, it says, you must send me your food journals every day. I thought you got them in the app now because I synced it. No. No. Oh. <laughs> Workouts. You've been doing pretty good with that. Pretty good. Um, I miss a couple every here, here and here and now, here and there. Here and now. They're, they're here. <laughs> Sometime. My hardest part is I forget to, to track it in the app, like like my walks. Um, usually on like the actual like when I'm going to the gym. I, I track and check in, but watch sometimes I don't think about it because it's usually when I'm home and I take my dog for a walk and we'll go for a half hour, 45 minute walk. I do know that I was getting like a little like down on myself because I, I, I felt like I was like gaining weight, but I wasn't gaining weight, but I just like looking in the mirror like I felt like I was like getting more bloated. <laughs> and so it was kind of like making me feel bad about myself. Um, which kind of made it hard to like eat as much calories because I was like I just feel like I'm just stuffing my face and like I don't know if I'm like doing it right or if I'm just making myself fatter and like not helping myself. <laughs> no. Uh, generally I think people um, feel a little bit more when they switch their diets a little bit, like to the point where they're eating more whole foods diet, diets which have more fiber in them, um, it not only makes you feel more full, but like it's a lot more to digest, um, and it's just kind of your body takes a little bit of catching up, and you're not going to be eating uh, nearly as many calories as you were for as much volume, like for processed foods. Like you can eat a whole bag of chips like so easily. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you can only eat like so many sweet potatoes or like broccoli or that kind of thing. So it's like you feel like you're eating a lot when in reality you're not. Um, so that might have been your initial feeling. And also when you do start working out, uh, sometimes can, people can see the scale go up and then you get freaked out. Yeah, that was that happened too. Uh, I was like, oh god, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Uh, just because um, you're gaining muscle, so muscle it weighs more than fat. Um, but in, like a lot of times, it might go up, it might stay the same, or it might even drop down. Um, it's not always going to be like this downward spiral. Like your weight fluctuates a lot. It depends on like um, how much water you've had, uh, your sodium intake can definitely affect how much you weigh the next day, your carb intake, uh, how much water your body is holding because of all these factors. So although it's like, you know, good to weigh yourself just to have like an idea of where you're at, it doesn't mean everything. Like so weight loss. <laughs> yeah, weight loss and fat loss, two different things. I always say that, but it's like, it's gonna be, if you wanna just lose weight, then don't eat and run eight miles a day. But you're gonna like shit, feel yeah. like shit. So, yeah, that's not your goal. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't run. <laughs> you wanna gain muscle, right? Yeah. So that's 
Carly's trying to eat flies behind me. <laughs> Let's talk about goals. So, you've had some life changes. Yeah. And you're basically in this phase where you're trying to get motivated again. Yeah. So, this happens. It's normal. Uh, we've been working together for about a month now. So, for the next month, for the next two months that we're working together, um, what are some ways that we can kind of keep you on track and keep you motivated, that sort of thing? I don't know. <laughs> That's the hard part. I think uh, I've been going through a little bit of a depression, so um, it's been hard to just be amped up and motivated, especially when going to the gym. It's easier to just like... I don't want to say do the bare minimum, but I know I don't push myself. Um, and I think that's kind of the hard part about like working out on your own is it's really easy to just do the workouts and leave, but you really don't have anything pushing you. So that's kind of been, been hard. Like I know that I could do more, but it's either like I'm exhausted and I just like want to get through it and finish. One of the things to think about is if you are, like there are those days where like just getting there is an accomplishment, but there are those other days that you need to push yourself a little bit. Uh, because you're there, you've still like allotted the time to be there. So don't waste that time and make sure that you're making use of it. Because like, why would you want to go somewhere for like an hour in a day and then have it be for nothing? Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it would be completely for nothing, but if you want to see the progress that you want, um, there's going to be some days where you're going to have to push yourself. Uh, and that's not, I mean, it's kind of like this inner motivation. It's not really something that like you can really get from anyone else. It's not something that I can really yeah. give you. Uh, but yeah, we can work on things that might help with that. Um, maybe setting like smaller goals each day or each week, um, something like that. Yeah, it's definitely a mental thing too because like I said, you know, getting on the scale and then seeing my weight go up or like looking in the mirror and, you know, feeling like I'm getting fatter or whatever, um, it's definitely, it gets in your head and then it almost like I'm doing something wrong or like why am I even trying if, you know, nothing's going to change. But I know that's not really the case it's just a mental game mm -hmm. so it's just something i'm trying to get over yeah do you want to make some goals for next week yeah um not losing my mind would be good <laughs> um no i think just you know staying with it and hitting the gym every day is gonna be a big goal because I have some stuff going on next week so it's going to be making that a priority to make sure that you know I don't put it off to the end and then don't have time for it. It's a good idea. Probably like getting in your workouts in the morning maybe just to get them out of the way. Um, that's one thing I always suggest for people to do. If you can get your workouts in in the morning that is best because there's nothing that can like get in the way. Mm -hmm. uh, how about Food wise, do you have any plans to like shop, meal prep, or like have stuff to cook? Yeah, I went shopping yesterday, so I bought like a Costco bulk of chicken. Nice. Um, and then I bought uh, some, I got some kombucha squash. Kombucha squash. Kombucha squash. <laughs> kombucha squash. Kombucha squash. <laughs> I was like, oh, I never heard of that before. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try that. Um, so hopefully next week will go better. My hardest thing still is like, breakfast and even if I like prep the night before which I forget to most of the time um, recently um, I recently just quit my job so I've been like kind of sleeping in and then by the time I get up I'm not hungry I've never been someone who like wants to eat right when I wake up um, so then by the time I'm ready to eat it's usually close to lunch and then I'm like well I don't want to have breakfast and then have lunch and then have dinner, so then I always end up like skipping breakfast totally and just having lunch. But I know it's not good either. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as you get all of your calories and macros in by the end of the day. So, like, as long as by the time you go to bed, you've hit your 
calorie, your protein, like all your macros and calorie goals, or whatever, which same thing, whatever. Uh, and then it doesn't matter what you eat. Yeah. So if you like really are not a breakfast person, that's fine. But it just if you like find yourself struggling to get in those calories and whatever because you're skipping breakfast, then you need to think of like, okay, maybe you should have at least like a shake when you wake up, just because it's not super heavy, but it's a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. Uh, then maybe a snack in the afternoon before like maybe you need to snack a little bit more or as opposed to like some people like really big meals uh, kind of just whatever works best for you yeah and I mean I think that's a, a goal for me to set too is maybe just making sure I'm getting up early and then just having breakfast um, plus I need to get out of sleeping in anyway because it's not good but <laughs> you know uh, I think that might be a good reason for me to like get up in the morning again and, and get ready okay. well how about this how about your goals for next week are to get up earlier wake up <laughs> get up don't stay in bed all day okay wake up uh work out we have some food if possible uh and then we'll just start there let's just start at easy wake up in the morning get your workout done and you know, send me your food logs. We'll check in next week. <laughs> so what do you what do you recommend for like working out? If I should I eat before I work out or eat like right after? Um, it's up to you. Personally for me, everyone's different. I can't work out hungry. Like I have to eat something before I go in to work out. Otherwise I just feel weak. Um, and I'm thinking about food, I'm like, oh I can't wait to just be done. Uh, so I just feel stronger. I feel like when I have a little bit more in my body, then I have a much better workout. Okay. Uh, some people are just like, you know, I'm fine if I just get up and go to the gym. Um, so it's kind of personal preference, whatever you kind of see, like how your body responds to food versus no food, that kind of thing. All right. Do you think it's doable? I think it's doable. Okay. Will I do it? We'll Tune in next you. week. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. <laughs> I will tell you all of Calvin's dirty secrets if he doesn't uh, do it. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> just kidding, I don't have any secrets. His dirty secrets would just be like, you didn't send me your vlogs at all. So. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Anyways, alright, that is it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next episode. Peace out. <laughs>